Why do we cook food? Because it's delicious. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kegan, and this is Rock. I'm kidding. Why do we cook food? We're the only animals on the earth that cook. One obvious reason is to kill any nasty bacteria that could potentially be harmful to us. Something that is smart that we learn because of our minds. Richard Wrangham, a professor of biological anthropology at Harvard University, has some other theories. Wrangham believes that we eat cooked food because it saves time, which in turn allows us more time and energy to invent things, advance civilization, and play Minecraft. I may or may not have invented that last one. Wrangham hypothesizes that if we ate only raw food, we'd spend up to 48% of our day chewing. Currently, humans spend an average of 4.7% of our day chewing. That's over an hour. Chimpanzees spend about six hours of their day chewing. Six hours. That's the equivalent of watching every episode of the canceled series LOL work every day. Kanzi here cooks, but it took some effort to get him to learn that. In his book, Catching Fire, How Cooking Made Us Human, Wrangham writes that we may have evolved to prefer food that takes less energy to digest. He even suggested that the invention of cooking marks the period in time when we made the jump to Homo erectus. How so? He notes cooking began just before a period of significant decrease in tooth size, as cooking allows for less need for teeth, a drop in rib cage size, which comes with a smaller stomach, in other words, less of a need to digest raws, and during a time when the Homo erectus traveled further than before, which requires more energy and more calories. And what can we do to food to get more energy and calories from it? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Cook it! So there are some benefits to cooking, but what is it about cooking that makes it easier to eat? According to our main man Wrangham, digestibility of animal protein increases when it is cooked, and that's because it's denatured where the protein unfolds. It's normally packed solid, with the hydrophobic groups on the inside and the hydrophilic groups on the outside. Denaturation is the process of it opening out, and once it opens out, the protolytic enzymes can now go in and start snipping. It's too bad for animals that they don't cook. Or do they? In his novel Galapagos, Kurt Vonnegut wrote that after a yummy meal of seaweed, marine iguanas sun themselves on the rocks as a means of cooking the seaweed in their stomachs. But that's not true. They sun themselves because they just froze their ass off getting the seaweed in the first place. Kurt. However, however. The crested caracara, a bird of prey from the falcon bee family, found mainly in the Americas, likes to hunt in recently burned areas on the search for barbecued prey, its favorite. That's pretty clever. It's not really cooking, but kinda. And it was intentionally sought as pre-cooked, kinda. But I bet a ring-tailed lemur would cook up some s'mores if he knew how delicious they were. From New York City, I'm Kegan, I'm kinda hungry, and this is Rocket Boom.